For the keynote speech, let us invite to the stage Mr. Ki Sun Jung, the chairman of the HD Hyundai. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome him with a big round of applause. Hello, HD Hyundai, Jung Ki Sun. 오늘 여러분들 모시고 퓨처테크 포럼 첫 세션을 열게 돼서 굉장히 큰 영광으로 생각합니다. APEC이라는 국제 행사를 시작하는 시간이고 또 세계 각국에서 저희가 손님들을 여러 모셨기 때문에 부득이하게 영어로 진행하는 걸 너그럽게 양해해 주시면 감사드리겠습니다. So good morning, colleagues and friends. Welcome once again to Gyeongju. A beautiful city that some of you may know was once the capital of the ancient kingdom of Shilla, one of the greatest seafaring powers in the history of Korean Peninsula. So as we continue to build on that tradition through our global leadership in the shipbuilding industry, it is with a due sense of pride that we open the Future Tech Forum with a special session on the future of shipbuilding. I am particularly grateful to be joined by so many distinguished colleagues and friends, each pioneering the future of this complex and fast-moving field. And on what that future may and should look like, we'll have plenty to discuss this morning and over the next few days. So if you allow me, I'll get us started with just a few ideas. First, of course, AI is revolutionizing our business like never before, well beyond what was thought possible even, say, five years ago. Let's take autonomous navigation, for example. It's already a far closer reality at sea than it seems on our roads. We HD Hyundai even have a company dedicated to autonomous navigation. It's called Avicus, and three years ago already, they managed the world's first autonomous voyage across the Pacific Ocean. A real, commercial-scale liquid natural gas carrier, fully loaded with real cargo, sailing from Houston, Texas, all the way to Korea with no human control. Now, their solutions are being used on hundreds of vessels around the world, cutting, among other things, fuel usage by over 5%. And through our most recent partnership with Andro, one of the rising stars in the military autonomous systems, we're now bringing this proven technology to defense developing state-of-the-art unmanned naval ships. Combining our respective expertise and capabilities in vessel autonomy and mission autonomy, our work together will change the very nature of naval operation through the power of AI. In fact, the rapid advancement of AI technology has had a tremendous impact on another key front of our innovation, the sustainability of our ships. Now, with EU carbon levy already in operation, as well as a new global carbon levy also under discussion at IMO, making your ships more sustainable is no longer just a responsibility for some distant future generation. It's your bottom line right now. So, from AI-powered optimization and autonomous navigation to hyper-efficient vessel designs, as well as energy innovations such as electrifications, fuel cells, near-zero carbon fuels like ammonia, and even nuclear power, especially small modular reactors. We're pulling out all the stops to enhance the operational efficiency and sustainability of our ships. Then, to produce these smart ships of the future, our shipbuilding process will also need to become much smarter. Here, we look to the latest innovation in robotics so we can overcome the chronic shortage of skilled labor and establish autonomous shipyard that will be operational 24-7 and still much safer. This kind of intelligent shipbuilding starts right from the design stage, using smart design tools like the digital twin solution we're developing based on NVIDIA Omniverse platform. 
where you can just say your ideas, and the large language model will automatically translate them into structural design, all in line with maritime rules and regulations. And it continues throughout the digital manufacturing cycle, every step closely monitored on our big data platform. You know, already at our shipyards, we're using cutting-edge robots for high-precision welding. And soon, through our partnership with leading innovators in robotics, we'll bring humanoid robots to completely transform the shipbuilding process. And finally, with all these innovative capabilities, we welcome a new era of naval ambition, especially in the United States and her Navy, one defined by next-generation fleets, revitalized shipyards, and a renewed drive for maritime dominance and prosperity. We, HD Hyundai, have already built more than 100 naval ships and submarines for navies all around the world, from Korea, of course, to the Philippines, New Zealand, Peru, etc. So we are fully ready to be a facilitating partner in this American naval renaissance, working closely with leading innovators in this transformative endeavor. Earlier this year, for example, we signed a new partnership with Huntington Ingalls, the largest military shipbuilder in the United States. And that partnership covers pretty much every innovation I just mentioned, aimed at making both our nations more secure and more prosperous. Well, I think that's already a lot more than what we can cover this morning. But it goes without saying that for all these exciting possibilities to come true, we'll need much closer collaboration across industry boundaries, a truly global alliance of innovation. Which is why our gathering this morning is all the more meaningful. And I hope, as we put our heads together, we'll be guided by our common purpose, building a sustainable tomorrow. Thank you. 감사합니다.